There's a divine order that starts in Africa on the planet Earth, and it is most represented by the Igbo people, and I'll explain why in a minute. In ancient Egypt, which you see according to even National Geographic, it was the first empire that is recognized as such, having all the qualities of a empire. And it started about... Um, 3600 BCE, if you include the pre-dynastic pharaohs. And on this it says 2700 BCE. Now, if you look at the other empires they include, and they don't include the Indus Valley Empire because it wasn't quite like Egypt, didn't have the buildings, didn't have the same war arts. The knowledge, the war arts, the wisdom, the loyalty, the respect, the love, the life, God's truth passed from Egypt and the people who had them migrated to Ebo, and the Egyptians were corrupted by the Babylonian whore, and then later the, uh, later the Arabs would invade. Of course, those Asiatics, Persians, there was, um, you know, Babylonians, there was, you know, Greeks and Romans, and, you know, there was, there was a lot of other people, Nubians that invaded too. But, you know, this, I'm trying to do a fair summation. And so the Middle East catches the next wave of truth and then the Indus Valley Empire, which the Egyptians who are related to them, the Dravidians and other groups that were in the area later on, they migrate to the Indus Valley, they cultivate Hinduism, and then they travel to, you know, Asia. And some, some people travel to Europe, and the majority of the knowledge goes to China and they um, and Tibet in that area, and they cultivate um, Kung Fu and Taoism and Buddhism and things of this nature. And then, you know, you have the Qin Dynasty, the Mings, the Mongols, the Qin and Han, the King, the Khmer Empire, you know, the Khmer Rouge will emerge later in history, but we're not getting to that. I'll get to that in my other videos. You know, this is this is the end. Then the Holy, Holy Roman Empire, you can see that Roman Empire is, um, when you look at the map of Rome, the most significant parts of it are by North Africa and the Middle East not deep into Europe. And um, I'll get into that in other videos again. And then later on, you see the natives in, you know, much later, ha you know, made their way over there. So why, you might ask, do I say that the true descendants of the ancient Egyptians are the people who are in the um, Niger Nigerian uh, area, in Biafran area, etc., in Niger, etc., because of the DNA tracings, because of the fact that the migrations of different animals and peoples, that's where people migrated. That's why Africa is, I mean, Nigeria is the most populated country in Africa. And the people who were conquered by many other peoples and were mixed, just like I'm not as much of an Igbo as the, uh, someone who's full of Igbo, is the same reason why someone in Egypt or, or Ethiopia is not as much of an Egyptian as an Igbo is. Because they're mixed with other peoples for whatever reason. Thank you.